Okay. So this is a reading for Sagittarius. Bear with me. This is going to be a little different. <laughs> okay. So earlier, I know this, I guess this is meant for you guys. Spirits wanted to tell you guys this. So earlier I was doing some work and then when I got done, you know, I was feeling completely fine. And all of a sudden I just got really tired. Like, I mean, so tired to where I had to go lay down. <laughs> like, I was like, what the hell is this? You know? So... I go lay down and I instantly fall asleep, which is very rare for me. Even when it's time for bed, my ass is up thinking for a while before I can pass out. Something put me into this sleep, okay? While I was asleep, I was in a room. Though I was staring at a wall. The wall was white, okay? All of a sudden, out of nowhere, I'm going to show you like a picture of this so you can get like, uh, kind of like picture this in your mind, okay? You see this? The wall opened up and this eye appeared, okay? Uh, but the, um, it was like gold. So like you see where the gold is, right? But there was like diamonds. So there was like, di it was like diamonds. It was an evil eye, but it was like shining with diamonds. And I instantly knew it was not good. <laughs> so, cause I jumped up and put my hand over it to cover the eye and I was like saying, no, you can't, you're not allowed to see me. And I covered the eye and then I woke up. Okay. So I'm like, <laughs> I've been thinking about this and I'm like, okay, should I say something to, you know, my people or should I keep this to myself? Is this for me or is this for everybody? Because everything, some things I see spiritually, I don't repeat. It's not for everybody. But after praying, I was told it is for everybody. So this lets me know two things, Sagittarius, or whoever you are that usually watches me. Um, somebody is watching you spiritually, trying to send you the evil eye, okay? But you also are protected because the fact that it was the evil eye protective symbol, it lets me know that you are being protected um, and that like you have a covering over you. That's why I was covering the eye. So you could have like ancestors who are blocking this evil eye that's like being sent to you. Um, so like, let me know if you are experiencing anything like that. And if you have like evil eye jewelry, like bracelets, necklaces, or anything, and it breaks, just know that that piece of jewelry has protected you from a serious attack because it will break. Or if you're in the presence of somebody and your evil eye jewelry breaks, if that's happened to any of y'all, that means that that piece of jewelry protected you from somebody who was very sinister around you. Um, so get rid of that bracelet because you don't want to go get it fixed because the energy in it's bad. You're going to want to buy a new one. So I don't know who this is for, so just like bear with me. I'm going to pull from the... Isis Oracle deck because that's what I'm being told to do um, But spirit, what is this about? What is this this vision this dream? Uh, that I had what is this about? What do you want to tell them? Oh, that flew out pretty quick The dark mysteries enter the chamber of the dark goddess Okay, so let's see what this is about I'm looking at the bottom look what's at the bottom Abundance of the, I don't even know what that word is, Sosis, Sosis, stellar blessings of the celestial goddess of abundance. Wow. So a lot of you guys are also getting like abundance in here, but I tell you, comment and let me know if you felt any effects from the eclipse that we had. Like, did any of you guys feel tired or uh, moody or anything? Or just energies? I don't want to read all those because it's really long, but it says the dark goddess calls you to her inner chamber where she holds a test and a gift for you. The test is your willingness to meet and release the fears within that have been secretly holding you back. The gift is freedom, peace, opportunity, and prosperity in all forms. Will you accept her call? Your time for deeper initiation is here. When the dark goddess calls you, it is a life-changing experience. It is not always easy, but the rewards for those brave enough to answer her call and enter her chamber of a tremendous indeed. 
The rewards are life lived more fearlessly, the gift of loving and being just who you are in truth, without having to impress or bow to another out of fear of rejection. It is open and expansive way to live, and it attracts the bounty of the Dark Mother, her gifts of love, opportunity, peace, and prosperity, well-being, and wisdom. It takes a strong soul to go through this test and into the liberation it delivers, but you are ready, dear initiate of the light." The dark goddess calls you to initiate when you have been working on your own shadow, bringing your whole self to light. During such times, we often need help as the shadow work can be uncomfortable, painful, or quite difficult to undertake as we are working with unconscious material trying to bring into the light of our conscious awareness, working with the shadow, the parts of us who have deemed unlovable, the parts that seem marvelous to actually requires courage. Okay, it says, and the dark goddess will call you when your own shadow needs healing, integration, with something that is holding you back, when instead, if acknowledged and brought into the light of awareness, it could actually help you move forward. Okay, so you're, you're being given a gift here, okay, and they're telling you to release fears. This keeps talking about a gift of prosperity, and I think it's funny that there's this down here too, but while I was reading... Like, you even see how there's something, like, on her forehead. Um, that dream also, I feel like, is, um, a lot of you guys, this third eye chakra is opening up, too. I've seen a vision of that, like, while I was reading. So, a lot of you guys could be giving these spiritual gifts, and your third eye chakra is being, like, lit up. So, another thing that dream could mean is, like, the veil, like, I was putting a hand over the eye, <laughs> So, like, maybe you guys had it blocked or spirit had it blocked and now they're removing it so you can see. But the main thing I got from the stream, though, was that somebody was watching because I was, like, telling it, no, you can't see me. And I was covering the eye. So, there's something about that. And I'm not sure if it's this Isis court card that's trying to reveal it or... um. Because these are like really long. Let me pull another one. So this talks about gifts that they're trying to give you. Spirit, is there anything about the dream? You make more sense of what the dream means. Okay. Mm, they're calling me to a different deck. I'm going to pull one of these. Trust unveiled. The revelation of Isis. Or truths un unveiled. Oh, see, you could be getting some type of truth about a situation, too. Maybe your eye is opening. I'm trying to see what's at the bottom. Spirit of Isis. Triumph of the goddess. So, truths unveiled. See, there's something. There is an unveiling. It was like... I don't know. It was the weirdest shit, though. <laughs> like, that is the only thing that just... Uh, I love what I do, but, man, sometimes it really messes with you. There are times when appearances of people, places, and things are truly deceptive. Oh, see? This is what it is. There's somebody sending you all the fucking evil eye. You will sense that when something feels uncomfortable within you, when you notice feelings of anxiety or doubt within you, you may think there is something wrong with you, but actually you are intuitively sensing that all is not as it appears to be. It is wise to trust your inner feeling rather than being convinced by outward appearance. There is a situation in your life, especially involving relationships, where something is not as it's being made out to be. To avoid undue suffering later on, Isis guides you to truth and revelation now. Ooh, son of a bitch. I knew it. <laughs> I, 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 The dream felt sinister. I wish, you know, I've always told one of my best friends this growing up. Because ever since we were kids, we like have dream things and then they happen. And I always told her, I, I said, I wish we could take our dreams and throw them onto like a DVD player. And then show people. <laughs> like, um, It says the revelation of ice is needed when something or someone is not and outwardly appears to be. No matter how sacred it may seem, a spiritual person, a family relationship, a shared history, there are times when although it is more painful to admit the truth in the short term, in the long term it will save you much suffering and feelings of being duped, misled, manipulated, used, or abused. 
It will also make it more likely that the situation or relationship can grow into a healthier expression if possible. You cannot heal what is not revealed. Isis is with you now to help you realize the truth, to admit that you probably already sensed it anyway, and to make wise use of these revelations now. The, the truth oracle unveiled speaks of a time coming soon where you will realize true perception. Ooh, so see your eye. See the eye. You're, you, oh, I get it. So you're not wanting to see something. So the eye was looking and seeing and you weren't wanting to see it. And this eye, since it was the eye of protection, it's trying to reveal itself to you to let you know that what whoever you're involved with is not who they seem and you're wanting to cover it up saying no let's not look at it so it's a perception if you've been feeling like something's not right with somebody that you definitely this is for you it says what you thought was trustworthy legitimate or reliable may turn into sand crumbling before your eyes this may be a friendship a job an offer of some kind, or even the behavior of a loved one causing you to question the real commitment or respect in a family or romantic relationship. What is important here is to realize that when you see the truth, you act appropriately. You will not proceed with inappropriate expectations, and you can reassess your boundaries and priorities to get the most out of a situation and not suffer undue disappointment later on. Isis was betrayed by her brother Zet who out of his great jealousy murdered her beloved Osiris. Now Osiris was able to demonstrate great spiritual strength and healing power to resurrect her beloved Osiris, and all was not lost. She also learned a painful and valuable lesson that it is wise to take her intuitive feelings seriously and to recognize a snake in the grass where there is one. When pregnant with her divine child Horus, she ran and hid from Zeth, recognizing that he is destructive and dangerous honoring what she knew and not pretending that all was fine and doing so her child was able to be born in the same way there are creative impulses and new life within you that need to be protected until you are strong enough to withstand negativity or undermining by another of jealousy or fear even a close friend with whom you love who loves you may struggle with creative side perhaps because they are a tap into perhaps because they are yet to tap into their own creativity it is best to be honest with yourself and know that sometimes, out of a sense of kindness, the fragile creativity beginnings of a project or new habit or interest need to be protected. Like Isis, you must protect that which needs by recognizing where something or someone can harm you rather than nourish new life. You are being guided with the oracle to trust your judgment about someone's motives or intentions. If you feel something is quite not right, then give your discernment a chance to more fully form so that you can see the truth. The more emotionally detached you allow yourself to be, the clearer your assessment of a person or situation is likely to be. If you've been thinking that you already see the truth in a situation, this oracle is confirmation of the accuracy and the perception that further confirms that you are seeing something accurately will be given if requested. Ask for revelation and be patient. Clear perception is imminent and will help you make wise choices. Wow. So, <laughs> you guys need protected from somebody. You have a friend, a family member, or a lover who's trying to deceive you, and they are pretending to be somebody they're not. And this goes back to that fucking snake in the grass that's been showing up in your damn reading, Sagittarius. So this person's getting closer to you, or is already in your vicinity. They're close to you. This is like a Judas spirit is what I'm hearing. You know, a Judas spirit, they're jealous, they're envious, they will betray you. Just earlier, I was thinking of Joseph in the Bible, how he had a gift from God. He was a dreamer, he could see, and they hated him. They hated him for it. They sold him into slavery. The beauty of that story is, though, they ended up later on <laughs> depending on him for their own survival. He was seated in high places. 
some of you guys are going to be betrayed if you don't listen to this this message. Some of you are going to comment and say, I've never watched you before, but I was led to click on this tonight. And you're probably not even a Sagittarius. <laughs> okay. Now, this is the crazy part. Because look at the incarnation or whatever you call it that they tell you to say. Gift, this is some crazy shit. Gift with me your vision now in the distortion of the vow that blocks the eye within my brow. I receive the knowing clear without doubt. Shame or fear, lies and deception disappear. Revelation of Isis come to me swift. Thank you for the sight, the truth, the gift. Confusion into clarity I do now shift. Now, what is the freaking odds that I have a dream about a freaking all-seeing eye and then all of a sudden this damn thing says the blocks the eye within my brow? I receive the knowing clear? In the distortion of the vowel that blocks the eye within my brow. So see, <laughs> holy crap. You know what I also feel like? I feel like your ancestors are trying to show you something and, and there is a, a there's an evil energy energy that's trying to like block your third eye shocker from picking up on this. Good lord. Repeat that. It says you can repeat it over and over. I just, I am, I'm just, I get dumbfounded. Some of you guys need to be freaking careful. There are, okay, so we're going to ask and see if we can pinpoint who the hell this is. If we can get some signs, something. Okay, let's roll these dice. Maybe we can figure out a zodiac sign. So, Spirit, we ask, especially Isis, we ask Mother Isis, Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors. Reveal to whoever needs this, what sign? Give us a sun sign in particular of this person, spirit. Okay, so we have Aquarius, Scorpio, Virgo, Cancer. Aquarius, Gemini, Taurus, Pisces, Capricorn, Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, Aquarius, Libra, Pisces, Gemini. The ones on the top are Pisces, Aquarius, Cancer. I'm really being drawn to the damn Virgo card for some reason. They're the Virgo sign. Those That could be one of the people. Let's see if we can get a birth date. Spirit, can you give us a birth date by chance? Like maybe somehow, look, September 7th. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. 911. Yeah. This is definitely a warning if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Look, we have 777. Look, we have 911 twice. 911, 911, 777. So July 11th, July 9th. I believe July 9th is Cancer. September 11th. I believe that's a Virgo. We have July 11th twice, um, September 11th, September 7th, we have December 7th, November 12th, November 10th, uh, November 7th, July 8th, July 9th, July 10th, July 11th, 12th, or 10th, November 9th. You know what? I never do this. But they're telling me to turn the dice. Like, to show the numbers on the back. So, <laughs> I know it kind of looks weird like this, but look, we have like June 5th, March 2nd, March 11th. September 6th, September 5th, May 6th, May, May 5th, June 5th, August 9th, August 7th. This is just weird. I feel like their birth, like we have like May 11th. Somebody's fucking birthday is on here. Like, I'm also, even though this eight isn't over here, I'm hearing like August 31st, um, August 21st, August 5th. Yeah, like August 5th, August 6th. 
August 9th, uh, September 6th. I don't know. It's Their number is in here. So you guys may want to study them. So Spirit, who else? What else do you want to tell us about this? Who is this person? Who is this person you're warning them about? Page of Pentacles. So this person wants to see you face to face. So they're around you. The magician, yeah. See, this is somebody who's pretending to be somebody they're not. This person could also be sending you spell work. Ten of Pentacles. This could be a family member. This could be a family member or somebody that's like wanting to offer you like long term. They could even tell you like offer you long term commitment just to try to deceive you. But for some of y'all, this is like a young earth energy too. Who could be in the family. Three of Pentacles. I mean, shit, it could even be a work related. Five of Pentacles. This is somebody who's not doing good financially. So somebody, okay, somebody that is around you, they view you as a Ten of Pentacles. And all they have is a page of Pentacles. And they're in the Five of Pentacles. So this person could be doing bad financially. Like they feel left out in the cold here. They could have even lost a job. You notice how the Isis card said that you have found a gift and there could be jealousy around you because they have not yet found their gift. So there could be somebody who's jealous of the work that you do. Yeah, because look, they, they it, it's a king of pentacles here. It came out with a knight of pentacles. A lot of earth energy here, you guys. So Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy is really strong. This person's going to try to offer you something long term. Yeah, they may even try to offer to move in with you. Or they may like come to your house. This person doesn't, don't let this person in your house. Yeah, because spirit is giving you clarity. Look, here goes the Ace of Swords. You know what? This freaking get go. Do you remember that reading I did for y'all? How somebody could have like a key to your house and you don't even know it. Now check this shit out. Before I came in here, this could be like in a friends group or something. Um, They told me specifically to use these tarot cards instead of my regular ones. And this chick is sleeping. You see that shit? And it's kind of, the Knight of Pentacles is somebody who's, a, I'm getting fucking cold chills. They're, the Knight of Pentacles is somebody who creeps because they're really slow energy. It's like somebody's creeping around your house at night while you're sleeping. And it's almost as if they feel like they have a way into your home. So I don't know if this goes back to like a family member or a friend or an ex-lover who somehow has a key to your house. Maybe it's even a lover you have now, but... This person feels like they have access to your home or a way to get in your home while you're sleeping. Okay. Like you're in fucking dreamland here. And this person is approaching your house. The star, Aquarius energy. Yeah, you're like sleeping because it's nighttime. So if somebody comes to your house at night, don't answer it. You are being advised to not fucking answer this door. I don't give a shit if you know who this person is. I mean, because like I said, the Isis Oracle says this is a friend or a family member, even a lover. This isn't a stranger. It's not. And it's, this ain't for everybody. This could, be, this could just be for a couple people, but fuck, there's something shady going on here. So the four swords and the star, this is going to be nighttime, Okay. 
all these came out together. We have the High Priestess. So your intuition's warning you about this person before they even get there. And you see right here what this is? This is spirit giving me that dream. I was sleeping and I seen something. And then here's the high priestess. She has the moon again. It's like I was I was shown through the veil while I was sleeping. Look, three of wands. There's somebody who's waiting to do this. Then we have the knight of wands. Okay. So this person is going to come, and then we have the Queen of Wands, so this is you guys. So this is you guys' the Sagittarius energy showing up here. You can also see how, like, they're showing me how I traveled into, like, a different dimension. Because, <laughs> look, it's like I go through this circle, and I've seen something. Like, you see how there's a sunflower was lit up? Like, there's a sun energy here and here. Spirit showed me something in the dream realm, and what it was was that freaking eye. But there's somebody waiting to do this. Like they're planning this. Like they're trying to figure out when the best time is to do this to you. And you see it because the three of wands is somebody who's looking to their future. So they're showing me that this is going to happen in the future. Yeah, look, this person's watching you. This is this goes back to that fucking eye. <sighs> Oh my god. This reading's get just got even fucking creepier. Sagittarius have you, look at this page of swords. Yeah, you're being fucking watched. Have you guys recently let somebody in your home that could have planted like a camera in your house? Like, I hate to go that fucking far, but I don't know if there's like an app you can download on your phone or a device. You may have to turn off like all your other devices to search for this. There, If you let somebody in your home, they could have actually planted a camera or something. That way they know when you're sleeping. And they, they, I hate to freak anybody out, but my God, there's something fucking sinister going on. I'm also with these fucking birds, man. Like, this looks like a, it's like it's a toucan or whatever the hell they call them from Fruit Loops. <laughs> but it reminds me of a parrot more for some reason. Like, this person could be gossiping. Somebody who talks a lot, maybe. Oh, there is a damn par parrot. Maybe this person owned a parrot. But look how they're, like, looking up at this person. This person's watching you. Like, this is fucking creeping me out. The fact that I'm the one that dreamed this shit. This is... Damn, that card went flying. I don't know what the hell it was. Hold on, let me pause it and get it. Hold on. Holy shit. Look what it is. The tower. So here goes the damn tower. Sagittarius. Um, you could have had a separation with this person. Or what they're going to try to do is going to shock the shit out of you. hanged man again look at all them damn birds around Pisces energy Ace of Cups and the Hermit you know this goes that damn Virgo energy Pisces energy Scorpio energy So this person could try to offer you like a love offer. This could be like an earth energy. I mean, they could come in and try to like offer you love. They may even show up to your house and try to offer you love. So just be fucking careful. That's what they're going to try to do to get in. What is this broad fishing for? Oh. Uh. Okay, I was making sure I didn't see anything. Sharks are no weird shit in the water. <laughs> it's like, what? Is, so, there, you got this Virgo energy front and center, though. It's like this person's waiting around. You see how the Three of Wands, the Hanged Man? It's like they're waiting to do something. But they're going to try to offer you, like, love. But it's not real. So, this person's, like, going to cause you some type of heartbreak. So they're going to come in and pretend that they're like love bombing you, want love with you, but their their true intentions is to stab you in the heart here, like betray you. 
Ooh, look at this shit. The death. They're going to try to betray you. And then we have the nine of, nine of wands. You see how she has all those scars on her? Because she's been hurt. And there's a rose there. And then that looks like a rose in the heart. This person's going to betray you and break your heart. And they're going to be one more scar on you. So Spirit's trying to get to prevent this. To tell you not to fall for the bullshit. Okay? Do not fall for this bullshit. Seven of Cups. Yeah, because see this person? They have other options. And so they're playing you for some reason. Queen of Cups. Queen of Swords. Shit. There's three queens in this reading. So this person has like other people that they're talking to. But for some reason they're going to try to come in and offer you something. They could be with this Queen of Cups. You could be the Queen of Swords because you're seeing this. Like, I feel like the Queen of Swords could be you. That's like you tied to spirit with your antenna up to the heavens here. This person's connected to a Queen of Cups. And you see this shit coming from a mile away. I'm also getting that this person could be breaking up with a Queen of Cups. Like a Cancer Pisces Scorpio to come your way. Seven of Wands. You could have even blocked this person. Like they may be getting out of jail. Like that's just for one or two of you. They could have chosen this Queen of Cups over you. And now they regret it or something. My God, there's so many different queens in this reading. And here it is, the snake. There's somebody looking at your finances. That's what they want, I feel like. Because it's like, there's a bunch of freaking broads in this reading, but the King of Pentacles is like your culprit. And it's like, you could be like, this could even be y'all. Like, you could be the Queen of Pentacles, very nurturing, abundant, and the Queen of Swords, you're seeing some shit. Or this could even be a, like your spirit guides. It's like you're the wounded warrior here. You've been hurt before. This person's coming in to steal some shit, though, is what it looks like. They're going to try to come in and steal like what you've built. Like you're building something with the seven of pentacles. You're very abundant. Like you're, you're very abundant. Like I feel like they could have picked somebody who's not abundant. But they view you as very abundant. So that's like their goal. Is to. Eight of swords. And then the hierophant. This person, I don't know why I keep getting this person could be getting out of jail or something like. But there's a juggling going on here. You could be dealing with somebody and you don't even know that they're juggling you too is what I'm seeing. Like this person's really trapped in their head about somebody. There is some weird shit going on here. The Wheel of Fortune, Six of Swords, Page of Cups. I kind of feel like this person's trying to get finances to go to somebody else, too. That's what's weird. Yeah, and then we have the King of Swords. Oh, the Devil card just fell. <laughs> Damn it. Two cards just fell. I'm going to pause it. Hold on. Okay. I thought it was the devil, but it's the king of wands. God, why are there so many people in this reading? 
So you have the King of Swords, the King of Wands, and but the King the King of Wands looks like a chick, like because in this deck there's two different ones. And the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody views you as this, like very abundant. But my God, there's so many people coming, Sagittarius. It's like this could even be like a couple who is doing this. There could be more than one of these people. There could be like couple people who are trying to do something to you. This is what creeps me out. The temperance. See, it's you. Like, you're just over here basking in your joy, peaceful and shit. I feel like this person's the same person. The King of Wands and the King of Swords are the same person. And they view you as the Nine of Pentacles, the Temperance. And then the sun, yeah, Leo energy. See, this King of Wands and King of Swords is like a Leo energy, like a fire energy. But these people see you happy. And this is putting them in despair. Like, these people are depressed and in regret. Yeah, look, Five of Swords. I'm also getting that there's this energy who is, like, jealous of another energy around you. So, if you do have new love, like the King of... So, say the King of Pentacles is your new love... Whoever this King of Swords, King of Wands is, they're very jealous. Yeah, yeah, it's them. Okay, so the King of Wands, King of Swords, I feel like their dumbass picked the wrong person instead of picking you or something. And then you went off to new love because you're like, I'm not beat to wait around for this person. Well, this person's pissed because they figured this out. And so now they're in regret and despair they're very jealous. They like to play mind games, okay? And they're hoping that you get some type of karma for this. Like, they, the justice is in the reverse, so they feel like there was an injustice. So they're planning something. This person's planning to do something to you. Because um, they, they feel like the empress, which is you, betrayed them, like stabbed them in the back. So they're the ones that are planning this. It's the King of Wands, King of Swords. So it's not the King of Pentacles. Hold on. <laughs> We're going to the other cards. I want to see something. It's So they're telling me an ex of yours. It kind of looks like an ex of yours is jealous of a new love or something. They could, okay, so Spirit, please show us specifically the person... That they're warning Sagittarius against. Exactly who is this person? We don't need that. I guess they wanted to give us the backstory, but <laughs> good lord. Spirit just cut to the chase here. Like it's almost 40 minutes into this reading. <laughs> I can hear one of my guides. So <laughs> I'm not even gonna repeat it. <laughs> it's like Maybe getting on to me for oh lord. People probably think I'm crazy, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> People don't think I'm crazy when I predict what, what their future is and shit happens. Okay, let's see. I kept seeing the tower when I was shuffling, by the way. Yeah, so this is somebody from your past. Okay, Scorpio energy, Capricorn energy. This is somebody who you could work with too, or somebody who wants to build, create with you, or you were working with them at one point to build something. Yeah, and then we have the Virgo and the Empress. Okay, so this could be a Virgo or a Taurus or like a Libra energy, Capricorn, Scorpio. This person's watching what you do for work, Sagittarius. And they feel like you're very abundant. Um, they feel like you are living well. And then we have Aries energy, two of wands. Yeah, okay. So whoever this person is, I feel like they chose somebody over you in the past. Because here goes this Queen of Cups showing up again. I also feel like there could be a Queen of Cups who's watching you. 
Like this Queen of Cups could be watching you. Like you see how it's like they're watching this globe. Yeah, look at this. Scorpio energy and then the Sagittarius energy. So you have some crazy ass broad here that's tied to a Virgo energy um, that you know from your past. This person has did some type of death spell on you. Because, look, it's like they were trying to attack you. But I'm also seeing that there's somebody coming towards you who just ended something with somebody else. Uh, they ended it. They chose to end it with this, this uh, water energy. And they're going to pick you. So this is going to cause uh, some, some shit <laughs> to hit the fan, to say the least. And this broad could be your culprit as to who's sending you the evil eye. Yeah, the, these fuckers are jealous of you, Sagittarius, Aquarius energy. Uh, they feel like you won somehow too. They feel like you defeated them. Maybe because their person wants to pick you. But it's not your fault. You're the Empress. You can't beat the Empress. Uh, side note. No. <laughs> I always have to say smart shit. Somebody's fucking jealous. This is sickening. Somebody is trying to do work on you. Spell work on you. Send you the evil eye. Wishing you D-E-A-D. -E like. Oh, Lord. This person also feels like you have a lot of options. And so they're like heartbroken. You broke somebody's heart here. Somebody's heartbroken. Yeah, this is somebody from the King of Pentacles past. So this is somebody who this King of Pentacles Virgo type energy invested in. In their past. And so now this person that they are leaving is like heartbroken. Double Pisces energy. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, they are looking to like invest in you because they they feel like they could have like long term with you. Because right now you're alone. Here you are, you're alone. You're having wish fulfillment alone. You're the Empress, but you don't need anybody. You're completely fine alone. Um, but this person's coming towards you to try it because I feel like they see you as the Ten of Cups. Yeah, look at this shit. Look at this weird shit. What in the hell? <laughs> what the hell is this? <sighs> Did you manifest this person? Oh, okay, well, come on now. Did you guys manifest this person? It's like something you wish for, you're getting it. Like, did you wish that this person would leave somebody to come be with you or some shit? Because this person was, like, not able to break free from the devil. Like, they, they couldn't. You may have known this person since childhood or some shit. I don't know. But it's like this person um, all of a sudden got clarity that they needed to cut the devil off. But they didn't have the strength to do it on their own. Like, because the strength is in reverse. This is the only card who can beat the devil, and it's in the reverse. So this, you have double Leo energy here, too. Capricorn. Um, but this is like, did you do some type of prayer work? Pray to God for this person to defeat the devil? Because it's like they couldn't do it on their own, but they might have been able to do it if you manifested it. But there is definitely somebody who is sending you some negative ass shit. With the devil and the magician. Like they're communicating with the devil. Yeah, this person was like juggling. They couldn't figure out which way to go. 
got Leo energy again. It's like they want to come back. Whoever this is, they want to like come in and rebuild with you. They don't want this tower to end. There is somebody, somebody left somebody. <laughs> like this is a shit show. Good Lord. There is like a narcissistic energy around y'all. It's like there's somebody pissed. It's like you're no longer in your head about this person anymore. There is, they're watching you though. And I'll tell you why they're watching you. Because look at this shit. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Justice, the World, and the Page of Swords. Like the, and then we have this freaking Fool card. These people feel like you're getting everything you want. Like you're getting this new cycle. Your things are like balancing out in your favor, which means new love, new money. And then the Wheel of Fortune, things going in your favor. Those are three major arcanas. Huge energy shift. It's like you're closing out old cycles and, and these people are watching it. There's not just one person who's doing this. This is multiple. And the fact that I'm kind of confused at who the fuck all these people are, I don't know. But it's like there's more than one. I feel that. I can feel their energy. Yeah. Some of these people are like past lovers or people that weren't chosen. Somebody feels, one of the main people who's like stalking you and, and sending you this negative shit and doing spell work is like somebody who feels like you guys broke up, but it's just a pause. Like, oh, you'll get back together later, but I don't think they realize you're not. Yeah, a king of swords. Two of cups. This could be somebody who who comes in and is to, tries to just be with friends with you at first. But they don't really have good intentions because the hair font is in reverse. You could have blocked this person. So they want like unblocked. They could be somebody who's like very traditional. <laughs> yeah, I see why the higher fonts in reverse. Because they're coming in, they want SEX with you. They're not coming for a commitment. They're coming with friends with the benefits. So you got somebody here who's watching you. They want to return. And their whole agenda is to just come in and get friends with benefits with you. Yeah, and they, they're very combative, this person. Le There's a lot of Leo energy here. This person wants to, like, you could have had a fight with this person. They're going to come in and tell you they want to move to calmer waters with you. <clears throat> they want to reunite. There could have also been a third party. They're going to try to like be apologetic. Yeah, this person is going to really apologize to you. And they're going to think that this is like really good news. They could even use a third party to contact you. Um, if you have them blocked. But they feel like left out in the cold. Yeah, they want to heal things with you. Because they're burdened. So they could be receiving some type of karma. Yeah. This person also is burdened because they found out that they like found out you're getting a bunch of money or something. Like they like you could be hiding. Some of you guys could be hiding that you're getting like some money in here. And they know it. Yeah, some of you guys are about to be given, like, quite a bit of money from, like, a female ancestor. This showed up in your reading yesterday. And it's your destiny to receive it. And so there's somebody here who is, like, have an anxiety waiting on you. Like, they're waiting to hear from you, this person. But meanwhile, they're having, like, anxiety, fear, and worry. What they're worrying about is like when they come towards you and offer you this shit, like they're going to try to come in and offer you marriage. 
and they're going to really take a leap of faith doing this, they're afraid you're going to reject them. So what I'm getting, this whole freaking weird reading is like, there's this narcissistic energy with this emperor reverse that you walked away from, but they're still holding on to you. And they have an agenda to come back, but it's not a good agenda. There's also somebody who's picking you over somebody else and they're watching you and they're jealous and they're also sending you the evil eye. So you have like an ex sending you this evil energy and then you have like somebody who's choosing you's ex who's sending you this energy. Some of you guys, there's also like a coworker around you who doesn't wish you well. Um, they're like, could be trying to get into like your computer or your office space or something to find something I'm hearing. So make sure that you have like, I don't know, I don't know what kind of work you do, but make sure you keep your shit locked somehow. Like keep paperwork hidden. I don't know. Some of y'all have like walked away from like a boss that didn't mean you any well too. Um, or you're about to because they weren't paying you good. There's just some shit that's going to be like exposed. Pray and ask your ancestors and God to expose these people. And I feel like you're going to see them like clear as day. I still. I think the reason they show so many characters. Because for all, for, for all of you it's different. Like, like I said for some of you it could be a friend. A lover. A co-worker. A family. But they really want you to like listen to your intuition something here about money like there's a greedy fucker around and they want you to reject this person because see it's like somebody's taking a leap of faith because of your finances like their their hidden agenda is that they're in this and they see you as this so just be careful I don't know what the hell is going on. I just, I'm just here to repeat the messages. And I really feel like there's something else they want me to show. I don't know what. Not that damn Kipper deck again. Maybe they're going to show who the main character is. I don't know. They're saying the Kipper again, y'all. <laughs> Every time I say the word the Kipper, it just cracks me up. <laughs> The Kipper reminds me of like the clue, the game. I don't know why it just does. Maybe it's like the way the pictures look. Distant horizons. So this person could live like at a distance or something. Or be like traveling to see you. High honor. Yeah, see, you may never suspect this person because you think that they're trustworthy. Bad health. So y'all might hear about somebody who has bad health. Pathway. They're showing you the way. Message of concern. So somebody might message you. Yeah, I feel like these people could be like... Viewing you as this privileged lady, whether you're male or female. Mature man. So it could be a man that's targeting. Yeah. See, they're going to try to ask you to marry you. What did I tell you? There's somebody who could try to marry you that's on some bullshit. Yeah, I'm t I told you. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all are going to have to comment. Which one of y'all are dating somebody in prison? And I'm not laughing at that. But no shame. Whatever. You know, you love who you love. Um, but just be careful. Because there could be somebody who's in prison. Okay? And they view you as a privileged person. And they could be trying to marry your ass. Because they think that if they marry you, that they'll become very wealthy. So they're like, man, if I get with Sagittarius, I mean, they could be talking to their cellies and shit, little prisoner, prison pals, like, man, if I can lock in Sagittarius, I'm going to be a wealthy man when I get out. <laughs> like, somebody is really thinking this. I'm not kidding you. Like, so, 
others of you, there's somebody who could end up in jail for doing some shady shit to you. So just be careful. Yeah, like you're you're getting messages. Like somebody's sending you messages. Toil and labor. Maybe this person's, you know, there could also be well, you can't make this shit up. There's somebody here who like they feel like even having to go do a day's work just it's just too straining for them like this is not somebody who's a hard worker so they would rather just steal some shit or get locked in with somebody who they think has money okay so be careful because there is a thief energy around you and it's been showing up in your readings journey we got that train again that could be that ancestor who showed up yesterday trying to talk to you yeah some of y'all are dealing with somebody in, in the wall who's in jail or the the courthouse um so the courthouse courtship somebody's trying to court you and they could be at a distance but this person's a false person man they're they're conning you some of y'all are getting conned shit this showed up yesterday some of y'all are getting conned by somebody in a different land different country and some of y'all are getting conned by prison pals here and shit man this person's this person's not doing good at all because look at this shit you got the lovers despair poverty change this is having to move because you lose everything so you got it some of y'all need to be careful some of y'all are being conned here don't fall for this bullshit man <laughs> I wish that I could just I wish that I had a gift where I could just ask spirit give me the names and the birth dates and I could just spell the freaking names out and the birth dates for y'all <laughs> like maybe I could I guess I could try to practice that so I don't know spirit what else what else do you have because I'm I'm getting tired and I'm tired of these freaking people already yeah. not y'all tired of the people who were trying to deceive y'all I, I can tell you one thing that between this weird ass dream this weird ass reading and then the karma reading i did earlier whoever the fuck is doing this to y'all <laughs> they're about to get their ass handed to them because spirit and your ancestors ha i i don't I don't think I've ever did a reading that was just labeled what is their karma like I don't believe I know I've did other readings where I've pulled like these types of cards and the karma card will come out but these people are about to reap what they have sown and we're in an eight energy and it's just gonna fuck these people's mind like they're gonna be like man I should have never fucked with that Sagittarius crying over you sad hurt upset Getting evidence, proof, facts, screenshot. Obsessive lover, dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessiveness, karmic. Ooh, didn't I tell you? Okay, so there is, th this is the broad. It's like a queen of pentacles or a queen of cups. She is like crying over the person that left them. And they're stalking you, trying to get screenshots to see if y'all are together with their person. And they're watching. This is a dangerous individual. And then look, we have Queen Rising. Um, is that broad holding a cup? Sure as fuck is. There goes the Queen of Cups. There's a Queen of Cups, a water sign female who's out for y'all. It says stepping into power, praise coming up, spotlight. Now, this is you guys. This whoever this broad is, she views you as this queen rising, but they showing the Queen of Cups here too. Okay. But they feel like you're in the spotlight. Karmic friends. Can't fully trust them. Tension. Secret competition. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. What did I tell you? Some of you guys have a friend who's going to try to betray you. It could be a female water sign. You fuckers are just too busy winning. <laughs> That's why they are so pissed. Look, they're watching you online. You're being bullied or lying or there has suffered from it in the past. 
You're, I'm telling you, they're watching you. And you're just completely unfit, unfazed. You're just, you're unfazed. You're too busy, too busy winning to give two shits about these people. This came out yesterday. Love on the brain, dreaming, fantasizing, nostalgic. That's that person from the past thinking about you. Bankrupt, yep. A lot of these people are fixing to lose everything for what they did to you. And then we have making it rain, focus, getting money. So you guys are like getting money and they're not. That, that, that's another thing that Isis card talked about how you have a gift and they don't. Think about it. Be careful. Don't share your shit with people. Look, there goes that third party energy. Mm -hmm. Multiple choices. You guys could be seeing somebody that's bringing you into their bullshit. Her ego getting in the way. Relationship. Somebody's ego is getting in the way. You can't make it up. And look, there it is. Bad karma. Whoever did you dirty is about to pay clock blocking talking shit this person's trying to block you too look and there you guys go thank you next <laughs> look at that fake smiles Ooh, I don't think I've ever seen this card so some of y'all got fake ass friends scarcity tactics oh that fell on the floor No facts. Never has the facts. Make shit up lies. These are females, by the way, that are doing this part right here. Some of these people are going to have to move, too. Like, part of their karma is losing their shit. Haunted. Yeah, these people are about to be haunted. Like, they have no idea what's about to hit them, it don't look like. Girl fights. Arguments, physical fight at war, competing. Man, you'll got people in competition with y'all Sagittarius that you don't even know is there. And then look, somebody wants you back. Somebody's actually going to compete for you too. Jackpot marrying for money. <laughs> Justice legal issues. Court judge. I'm telling you, for those of you who are dating an inmate, there's no shame in that game. But... I want you to be careful if you have any kind of money. And I mean, I guess if they're in jail, if you have uh, anything, it's a jackpot for them. Somebody who has legal issues is wanting to marry you to keep you tied to them because they feel like you're the jackpot. Others of you, this goes back to that bullshit where somebody's dating somebody in a different country. I, I just can't. I can't with y'all. I don't know. It's not even y'all. It's the people coming for y'all that that are about to get hit here um i guess for shits and giggles let's pull a couple more tarot cards well i'm gonna use this dragon deck spirit who is this getting this bad karma who is getting this uh bad karma that just came out and can you please be specific i don't have much time left in me i need to go to bed the fool. Okay, well, we know they're a fool. The moon. <laughs> Cancer energy. Five of Wands. Somebody you had an argument with. The shaman, which is the magician. The Emperor. <laughs> so it's like a divine counterpart. Aries energy. Whoever you had a fight with, that's a very egotistical asshole here. You could have been married to them, or they're just like the my way or the highway type. This, I'm telling you, somebody did some uh, spell work on you too, by the way. That's why they're going to get hit so hard. Oh, my God. This person's thinking of stealing some shit from you. They're, they're going to come in and try to do some magician tricks. They're trying to steal something from you, Sagittarius. This could be your own divine counterpart here. How divine? Uh, maybe divine of the devil. 
I just don't believe that a divine counterpart would do this. But there's somebody who thinks they're like a boss type energy. Justice. There's oh my god, they're gonna get hit. This person is going to get their ass handed to them. This is karma. So whoever did black magic on you sends negative energy to you. You were fighting with this person. Um, they deceived you. Whoever has been deceiving you is about to get their ass. Look, there's an owl and a mouse. That owl is going to eat that mouse. That's exactly what's going to happen to this individual. Uh, the owl is going to eat them because they're the rat. Strength. See, you guys had the strength to defeat this person, too, and they don't like it. The fact that you've had the power to hold yourself back from them is pissing them off. We got Libra, Leo energy, by the way. Nine of Wands. Yeah, you need to protect yourself. Both of these are, like, in protection mode here. Four of Pentacles. There's something about money. Uh, it could be what they're trying to steal. The lovers. Yeah, they're still holding on to you. They're going to try to come in and offer like love, I feel like. Three of Pentacles and tell you they want to work with you. They're very interested in your work. What you do for work. They're going to tell you they want to work with you. Yeah, because they view you as the wheel of fortune. Things going in your favor with your work situation. They're watching you. This person watches what you do for work. Nine of swords. And they're having stress, anxiety, and worry. Whatever they're seeing, they're stressing out over it. Two of pentacles. Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody who was juggling you. And now they're about to have... Um, you walked away from them, didn't you? You sure as shit did. You walked away from them. And now they're stressing out. Ace of Wands and the Five of Swords. Yeah. Um, this is that jealous, envious person that always shows up in your readings. They want a brand new passionate beginning with you. And then we have the Four of Swords and Death. You put an end to this person's bullshit. Like you defeated them. And I feel like they want to pay you back. Three of Wands, Six of Pentacles. It's like they're waiting to come back and have you give to them again. They were looking at other options. This person thought the grass was greener on the other side. Here they come in their stupid little chariot. They are returning. They're coming back. That's why this warning is about Queen of Cups. Hair font. <laughs> they, I'm telling you, there is a Queen of Cups here this person's attached to. They're leaving somebody behind to come to you. They could have been married to that person or something. Six of Pentacles. Wait a minute. Didn't this card just come out? Hold on. It takes me a minute to read these cards. Oh, this is the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Again, looking at your investment. They were giving to others, so they were breadcrumbing you because they were giving to another person, that Queen of Cups. Yeah, they want to communicate. They're moving away from a Queen of Cups. The Hermit Virgo energy. I feel like this is somebody you blocked. You literally left this person because they are breadcrumbing you. They had you in a third party. They were juggling you. And you block their ass. Two of Wands. They're going to figure out some way around the block. This person's having financial issues. They feel like you're the answer to their problems. 
and now they're feeling the heartbreak. So this person is feeling the heartbreak and they want to heal things with you because they're having financial problems. Yeah, and they feel stuck and they feel like you're a star. Yeah, and they're all in their head. So this person's also getting like mind fucked, by the way, by spirit. Judgment. Yeah, they're getting judgment. So whoever this is, they are getting like um, judgment. Ooh, look, the temperance. The temperance. So this person knows instinctively that the reason they're getting all these bad things that are happening to them is because of whatever they did to you. Like they did something to you, Sagittarius, and now they're getting judgment. Like they're getting judgment here for whatever they did to you. They're getting clarity too. Spirit is like giving them clarity as to why they're getting this. Yeah, and you're over here getting victory. So you have won. Uh, Spirit has chosen your side and is giving you victory and success. Two of Swords. Because this person made the wrong decision and they realize that now. And you're not, you don't care. <laughs> you're in the Four of Cups. You're like, I don't want to hear your shit. Yeah, they had you in a third party. Your intuition already knows that this person is about to come back and try to reunite with you. Because there's a high priestess and the six of swords reversed. So they're coming back because they want to communicate. Nine of cups and the sun. So you're getting like wish fulfillment and you're very happy. And this person sees that so they want to come in. Yeah, you had a tower moment with them. It could be this King of Wands. He's down here. The Ace of Pentacles. We have the Tower, the Ace of Pentacles reverse, and then the King of Wands. So this person's losing finances as we speak. They're in regret. They're in despair. So that's who's getting karma. Whoever did you dirty. It's your it's a lover that's getting their ass handed to them. Oh, I just, sometimes I just feel like I'm just talking on here and nobody's listening. <laughs> Did I remember, like, you guys are listening. You can tell I'm getting tired. <laughs> I gotta go to bed, y'all, okay? I love everybody. Um, listen to your intuition. This is These readings aren't for everybody. But if your intuition's already been telling you something about a shady-ass character, you would be correct, okay? So, I love you guys. Have a good one.